Now, we've taken a look at half Thor Bjornsson's diet several times before. Thor, the mount, I mean, the guy's got seven different nicknames at this point, but he eats an incredible amount of food to maintain his incredible size. I think he's around seven feet tall, over 400 pounds. And when we looked at his past day of eatings, he just ate conventional. Sometimes he had some junk food here and there, but when you're consuming thousands upon thousands of calories, two to three times, four times as much food as the average person, the agrochemicals, the pollutants, not going organic, everything adds up. I mean, these guys are using tons of performance enhancing drugs that definitely alleviates a lot of the negative effects of large amounts of conventional food, especially animal foods, especially the estrogenic properties. Let's see if slimming up his diet has helped him at all. Welcome guys, today I'm going to film a full day of eating. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what I eat every single day. I eat the same food every single day. For, let's just get right into it. I'm not gonna waste your guys time. I'm just gonna, here I have three eggs, 200 grams chicken. In this here, I have 150 grams of Greek yogurt. 100 grams of strawberries, blueberries, 40 grams of oats. That is my breakfast alongside with obviously some liquid, liquid stuff, you know, that rain total body fuel to get my energy through the roof. We're gonna take you guys through the whole day. Training, I'm about to do some technique footwork with my coats. Then I'll lift some weights. And after that, we'll do some endurance work. But we're gonna show you guys each and every meal and I can't wait to show you guys because I am actually extremely happy with my shape right now. When I started this journey, I weighed 500, no, 205 kilograms. And now I'm down to 155. Feeling good, feeling healthy. Not for talking, let's eat. I don't think Half Thor has been this lean since he used to play basketball, and he looks a lot healthier, especially compared to last year. I mean, the guy lost you know, over 100 pounds. It's, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. The meal he has here is just really conventional, like bodybuilder health advice. You know, your oats, your eggs, some supplements, some protein powder. Again, it, it's better than the standard American diet, but it has its own downsides, typically high in omega-6 typically full of agrochemicals, all those pollutants we keep mentioning. You know, we can't forget the water quality, what's being used to make the oats, what's being used to grow the fruit, the vegetables, whatever it may be. And, you know, the stuff he takes might negate that to some degree, but what is commonly overlooked is high Wi-Fi, high EMF environments, especially when these athletes are traveling before their shows, they're cooped up in a hotel for days or weeks, you know, before they have to perform at a very high physical level, which I think is, is absolutely crazy. And I'm surprised none of these professional trainers have picked up on that and the importance of reducing that exposure, especially leading up to the fight. Meal number two, 220 grams of uh, tenderloin beef, right here. Here I have 180 grams of white rice and 100 grams of greens. I'm gonna eat this meal, then we're gonna go and do some um, lifting weights, lifting weights. So this is the second meal after he trained, and if you were gonna eat conventional foods, this is about as good as you can get. It's lean beef with white rice and vegetables. It's not super high omega-6, there's not a ton of chemical additives, the pollution concerns aren't too high. Obviously, you can go organic, you can go grass-fed, you can go high quality with everything, but it's not horrendous especially compared to that standard American dieter. On a side note, I was thinking a little bit, and I didn't remember this guy having this much hair, so I Googled if he had a hair transplant, and lo and behold, he did. And you can actually see on the top of his head, you know, where his old hairline was. I mean, the guy was basically bald, and they filled in the rest of it. So, you know, his past diet and lifestyle factors, all the drug use, caused him to lose basically all of his hair. Hopefully, I guess, the plastic surgery, the hair transplant helps it stay. Meal number three. Uh, here I have 220 grams of chicken and 250 grams of potatoes with 100 grams of greens. This is probably my least favorite meal of the day. I'm not a huge fan of chicken, but I have different goals now than I did when I was in Strongman. So the diet, the diet is slightly different. This is super clean, clean as it gets. Rather easy really? to, to consume this. I'm never really hungry. Is it as clean as your hairline? 
I'm sorry. I agree. I never really feel throughout the day. I just feel, I feel good. I feel comfortable throughout the day. And you can definitely see that on my stomach. It, it, it's basically, I used to have a huge belly. Well, almost. Just like, pretty nice. So chicken is much worse than beef because of what they're feeding the chickens, the corn, the soy, the antibiotics are much higher concentration. You know, since it is chicken breast, since it's lean, the omega-6 concern isn't that high. The potatoes, the vegetables, the same principle as last meal. If you go organic, you remove a lot of negative concerns. And if you peel it or prepare it in certain ways, that can make it easier on digestion as well. I mean, the guys had Bell's palsy, which is like paralyzed side of the face for years and years and years. Usually that recovers. I would suspect the guy is heavily vitamin D and magnesium deficient, which I think I mentioned in the last video. It's just a shame uh, to see this guy destroy his body with his diet and these drugs. Meal number four, 100 grams creams, 100 grams rice, and 220 grams salmon. This is probably one of my most favorite meals of the day. I like this meal a lot. And I want to give a big shout out to Cole. Cole is a food company here in Dubai, meal prep company that has been sending me fresh meals every single day since I arrived here and it has helped me a lot. Of course, he's sponsored by the meal company and it's not organic, it's not high quality, it's just, you know, conventional health wisdom with the grains, the vegetables, that type of stuff. I hope he's not eating like this at home. There's a chance he's doing, may, maybe not. But what I will say about this meal is farm salmon is straight poison. And just based off of that, this is the worst meal he's consuming all day. The sheer amount of toxins and negative things in those farmed fish. We did a whole video, is fish too toxic to eat, that you should definitely check out. It'll scare you away from something like farm salmon, especially. Now we go eat the last meal. Here we have, guess what it is. Think, use your brain, and guess what it is before I tell you guys. You probably guessed wrong. This here is... 250 grams of Greek yogurt, 30 grams of almond butter, and 100 grams of banana. All mixed together and actually tastes very nice. This is, this is like a dessert. And then right, right here, I have one scoop of uh, whey protein. Drink that as well with this meal, meal. And yeah, this is what I eat throughout the day, guys. I mean, at the highest quality, that meal is actually pretty good. If it was full fat Greek yogurt, you know, organic bananas, and then you had like a grass fed whey protein, actually pretty high in animal products, high in protein, high in B vitamins, overall pretty nutritious. I mean, just looking at this guy's teeth here, they look demineralized. I mean, that's a very kind of ridiculous assumption based on the lighting of the video, based on the view here. But I would guess, unless this guy has done heavy, heavy, heavy vitamin mineral supplementing, high dose vitamin D, high dose vitamin K2, high dose magnesium, basically everything. He'd probably have to do that for months and months and months to get his body where it needs to be. At least that, that's my assumption here. Uh, overall, as we've said several times, pollutant agrochemical concerns, as well as concerns about the overall meat quality. And I guess the biggest question here is, is this guy getting enough nutrition uh, to fuel his body, to heal his cells, to be optimally healthy? Absolutely not. I don't think so. Maybe someone at his team with half a brain comes across my videos they probably did and thought I'm some like fairy boy twink punk in New York. But what are you going to do? Um, hopefully he doesn't come over here and crumble me into a basketball. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And make sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I did skip through a lot of that video. Uh, you know, if you want to watch his training, his other stuff. It's about 15 more minutes, so you can definitely check that out on his channel. Uh, but thanks again, guys. You can sign up for the newsletter at frank-stefano.com to stay in touch. I'll see you tomorrow.